Casey's Crazy Kitchen. We're going to create Casey's Crazy Kitchen once again, ladies and gentlemen. What we're going to do is some chicken manicotti. You, you want a middle finger again? <laughs> Are you getting it? It's very important that you wash your hands before you touch food. I went out and smoked a cigarette. You know, you know me and my cigarette breaks. I come in, I wash my hands. So you took a cigarette break before the show even started? Yeah, I did. And are, are, are shoes uh, a necessity? If you want my jail shoes, I'll, I'll, man, I'll break out the jail shoes. I didn't think this was that episode. All right, here we go. Starting with the chicken. I'm gonna wait for him to tell me what I need to do. You gotta put the chicken in the bag uh, and pound we're, it. What we're, we're gonna do is pound the shit out of it, like. No, we're not gonna pound the shit out of it. We're just I, gonna, we're gonna I wanna it. pound the shit out of it. Look at this. That's a beater right there. Okay, we got some free range chicken jumping off. I, I think we should tell these people, that, like, when you support local economies, local growers, you're, you're supporting yourself. We have two of these. Yay, chicken titties. Woo! What are we gonna do? We're gonna do some doo doo. I know that. No, we're not gonna do any doo doo. We're gonna do some doo doo. Fuck that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to beat some meat. I don't know if anybody saw that, but we, we got a, you could put pepper in there, salt in there, do, do your thing, and then pound your meat. meat. No, actually you pound your meat, then put stuff in there, because if you did it while you had stuff in it, you'd get shit all over the place. Is it okay if I just pound my meat? Something there. Pound it down the thick spots. That's, that's how we roll. Consistency. So this is the chicken that we're cooking to go in to the chicken manicotti. But we need to prep this first. We're, we're, we're doing some stuff. I'm going to follow my elder. Salt and pepper. You know what rhymes with pepper? Elder. <laughs> Liberal, like... Salt? We're not going heavy, right? right. More pepper. Yeah. You can't have enough pepper. That's the whole thing about recipes. You I, can't put too much pepper. Oh, I, I beg to differ, but. <laughs> Himalayan? <sighs> Himalayan. We'll put that to the side and get your uh, pans out. I still want to use this. Like, I just want to walk around with this and be like, yo, what up? <laughs> You want some salt and pepper? What? And this this is where I get frustrated, man. With what? I, I don't I don't like things being put where they're not supposed to be put. Where are things supposed to be put? They're supposed to be put where I put them. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Trying not to chop our fingers off. We got a yellow sweet onion, and we're trying to chop it up, but. If you've, if you've seen any episodes, you know me, that this isn't going to go well. This, this, this is where I sing for Massa. I, mm -hmm, good old slave songs. I, this, this is where I sing for Massa. You're not singing for me. I'd sing it for Massa. I'd rather you just not sing. So we have the onions cut. And next... What we're gonna cut? Carrot. Carrot. I'm. I'm feeling. I'm feeling a little garlic. Mm -hmm. We want to show the audience what you're dealing with here first. I don't want to show the audience shit. Well, that's how they know when you're cooking or what you're you doing. Want some, you want some of that? We need transitions here, Just otherwise know. we're not gonna make a video. You're, you're the director. That's what I'm trying to tell you to do. Tell them that you got a carrot. I have a carrot. I have to take a If you're drinking a thin. Thin. There's my finger! This goes in the bowl with the, the onions. And then you gotta chop up some garlic. So there we got the basis of the maqua. And did I say that right? Yeah. Maqua. 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 Right, I gotta so. say it like that though. Lord knows I love smashing some garlic. And now we're gonna cut it. I'm 
it's somewhere in there. Yeah. We ready for the chicken? Mm hmm Medium heat, six, seven ballpark. We're gonna go with some avocado oil. We're gonna wait for the pan to heat up so that it can do its thing. Okay. He wants me to pull out the chicken titties. I'm pulling out chicken tits. We're, we're just, we're gonna cook that and then we're gonna throw it in our manicotti. Yeah, you flip it. You're flipping. No, you, you want to flip it once that one side's done. So I get the smoke break. Okay. <laughs> I'm cooking food for white people, man. I'm angry. Mm. You, mm. you sound constipated. I did. <laughs> I'll also grab a plate and some aluminum foil for this. I ain't gotta do shit. There we go, with a nice little chicken sear. Oh yeah, I think we're good to go. All right, I'm gonna wrap those up. And then I get my smoke break? Nope. You'll know when your smoke break comes, I'll let you know. No, I don't. No, not yet. Son of a bitch! Well, we're gonna turn it back on and we're gonna throw the onions and carrots in there. Medium high? Look at this, like, this is still boiling. Oh, nice. Woo! All right, folks, here we go. Carrots, onions. Next. We got some fire roasted crushed tomatoes. We're gonna incorporate those. I wish I could translate this smell to people. Like, man, this smells like good food. And you're thinking I add this right now? No. It's looking proper, it's smelling proper, it's nothing fancy, but I'll tell you what. The smell that is wafting into my nostrils. We got some carrots, we got some onion, we got some garlic. So, what we're gonna do, puree first. Oh, yeah. Okay, the other one in there, this one. A lot of sauce, it's right? It's a lot of sauce. Yeah, maybe we don't put it all in there. Put some it of it? Or as much as you can without overflowing it here. Yeah, just yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, that's probably pretty cool, huh? Just a dash of pepper. Good. How much Himalayan salt are we going with? You're going with some. I mean, just you gotta get some salt up in there. Sprinkle? Maybe two sprinkles. Maybe two of those. Two of those? Waha! We wanted. Just some dried oregano. Dump about a tablespoon worth in there. A little bit more. So you're gonna make me spit in your food. No, I'm not making you spit in my food. Ladies and gentlemen, orange rind. We're gonna cut down the acidity of this tomato sauce. Just like that. This is basil. He's going basil heavy, people. I don't know if you see this, but he's, he wants me to put all this basil in there and then some. Just for the cameras, he's making me do this. I, I gotta put this in here like that. Now you got some money for it, huh? Going. We're Smoke break? Not yet. We're opening the mozzarella. Not just any mozzarella. What kind of it's mozzarella? It's not. It's not just any mozzarella. 
This is Belfiore cheese. Fresh mozzarella. Well, it's definitely fresh. Half and half it is. Alright, so this half, we'll do the fine dice. You should put it in a big bowl that you're going to put with the ricotta and everything. I don't know if this is how you want to do it at home. Because I'm just I'm working with what I got. This is what we're going to stuff with the ricotta, with the chicken, with the spinach. And this is what we're going to slice and put on top. That didn't work out. Hopefully he edits this. And this one, you can basically just big chunk it up, like slices. Slice it first and then break the slices up a little bit. <laughs> Got it like three or four times and big topping chunks. Fresh parsley? Yeah, fresh, fresh parsley, some basil, and some spinach. Fresh basil, fresh parsley. That's how we roll. And what are you thinking, the whole? Just like I got this. We have some basil leaf, finely chopped, that's going into a bowl. That's good. Honestly, I, I hope it's apparent uh, for the people at home that I don't know what I'm doing. I rely on my elder to teach me how to cook food. You just rely on me to edit so it looks like you know what you're doing. That too, but you never make me look smart, man. I'm worried about that. I do the best I can. Right. And some spinach the same way I put my... We're working with some shit. I don't know if you're hip to that, but let's make it spinachy. Oh, look at that. Our water's starting to boil finally. Mm. Yeah. So we should throw that in? Yeah, let's go ahead and throw that in so you can keep chopping when uh, this stuff is boiling. We have Da Vinci manicotti, Italian style. I don't know what other kind of style manicotti is going to be. Look at this. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Are you catching the muscles? Here goes the manicotti into the boiling water. Make sure those noodles aren't sticking. This is the beautiful point though, where you just get to sit back and let things do their thing. Some ricotta. Oh yeah. I want a strainer for when that pasta is done. I don't know if I was you, if I would trust me to do what I'm about to do. What are you about to do? I'm I'm about to fuck some shit up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the pasta. We're gonna stuff the manicotti. And then, we're gonna cook that manicotti. Start with draining the pasta, maybe. I'll do that. That is still hot. When I'm saying, you know what I'm gonna do, he already was one step ahead of me. Yeah, we're gonna take that, because we want that. We're cutting the chicken abreast. Uh, chopping up some chicken tits. Boom. We got some Oliver's Parmesan. I think they actually have an Italian guy in the back grating this for you. That's good. Is that where we're going with? Yeah, we're going to stir that up. We got cooled off manicotti. Put that on your plate there so you're not dripping all over um, the floor there. Cool. We want to 
start to stuff them. Right, so before we start even building our Manakali, maybe we should get our oven preheat in there. That might make sense. 350? 350. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start a petition, much like Earl did. I want more counter space, because if you expect me to cook, and under these circumstances, we just gotta learn how to organize a little better, that's all. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is start with a little bit of red sauce down in the bottom of the pan. Okay. So while you make your matakai as a construction, you can just set them down right there inside the pan. Don't get any of that to the orange peel or nasal. Mm. Mm. So we're, we're ready to stuff the manicotti? Let's do it. We're just gonna shove some shit in there? Yeah, get a little spoon kinda like, and shove it. Kinda like that, just, just kinda, shove it in there? I guess. All right. You can do it by hand, but you can also use a spoon if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that would be smarter and it would look smarter. I just wanna get her done. I want my smoke break. And again, like for the people at home, don't do this this way. Figure out smarter ways to go about your business. Don't do how I do. Put in there somewhere. Let's hope I got enough manicotti stuff. As much as you can get in there. Yeah. I think so. I mean, what these, what, what this audience doesn't know is, I'm not even gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna go out there and smoke a cigarette just like this. Is, is there some YouTube channel as far as stuffing manicotti? Because there's no easy way to do this. You gotta shove it into I the hole. I know you're doing it though. Yeah, it's nice. Well, I'm just, no, I'm, I'm, you, fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna get messy. Mmm. Oh yeah. I'm trying as hard as I can to make this chicken manicotti for you guys and you're just stifling me. Aren't you gonna edit some of this? Yep, I edit all of it. Man, like, I'm making a fucking mess. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah, brother. That's it, nice. Yeah. Look at this nice uh, yeah, sauce. Say, Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen this whole process. I haven't spit in it yet. I'm waiting for Nate to leave the room before I do that. But. So where do we stand on the smoke break? Casey's Crazy Kitchen. All right, now what we're gonna do what are we gonna do? Mr. We're gonna put Elder. some cheese on that and cheese. stick it back in for about another 15 minutes. Oh, look at that. Mm. We got the thinly sliced mozzarella. We got it kind of chunked up. Mm. We're gonna... How about some of this uh, Parmesan? A little fresh grated Parmesan. That's good. Somewhere's in there. Oh. 15. 350. Here we go. I'm going 16 minutes just because Nate said 15. Because that's how long it's going to take you to do your second smoke break. Exactly. What do you think? Uh, I, th I say we go on broil. Yeah, throw it on broil for about five minutes. Broil. Five minutes. Here we go. I'm gonna broil the cheese just to get it nice and glazed, like crusty. I don't want to say crusty because that's crispy. Sound bad. Crispy. You know, yeah, just that'll get a nice little singe. Oh yeah. I don't know if anybody at, at home sees this, but look at that. Oh, oh, I'm gonna eat some of this. Oh man, we're gonna eat some of that. How long are we gonna that set? Five, ten, smoke break. KEC's Crazy Kitchen. Welcome back to KEC's Crazy Kitchen, where we're cooking some shit that's bitching. Are you gonna get my muscles in here? I, ju I was just gonna get you actually getting the manicotti half of the All dish. Right. Oh, yeah. 
Is that too big? That looks manly. Let's throw it on there. I'm gonna have a bite of this chicken manicotti that I made with Nate. I'm gonna enjoy the shit out of it. Watch this. Mm. I'm thinking I could have stuffed them more. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not happy. I fucked this up. Ladies and gentlemen, if, if I have not presented this appropriately, I apologize, but this is bomb ass food and we're gonna eat the shit out of it. If you want a recipe, look it up. Casey's Crazy Kitchen. Casey's Crazy Kitchen. So what you're looking at now are my muscles and the storm within. But I appreciate that you watch Casey's Crazy Kitchen. I'd love it if you tune back in next time. Even better, subscribe. Like it. Casey's Crazy Kitchen.